Okay, so here you see the um, the form that we created. Here is the heather. Here is the uh, body, and here is the footer. So right off the bat, you will see the um, stepper feature. So right now we're we're on step one, and step one is the uh, production company info. So ideally you'd um, enter a company name on this text field and here are the buttons so you either add it or you continue so let's click if you click continue meaning uh, you already have like a registered company right, let's go back actually let's go search then we add and here you'll see a bunch of text fields company name address suite city all that stuff and then you save it and then now you move on to step two which is the production company contact in contact person info you click your first name and your last name and then you search ideally there would be like a table here showing all of the registered um, production company contact person and then you just click it but now we add and then you see a bunch of text fields and here's the um, client side client side validation that I was working on but I wasn't able to finish it So here you see you can toggle if, if on the next step, which is step three, if it's the same information as the production company contact person info, you just toggle this on and it'll skip to step four. So we just save it. And now production contact person, basically identical to step two. So we add, fill out the text field, then save. We're at step four, which is production information. And yeah, you fill out all the text fields. And this is uh, one of the cool calendar fields. And then you continue. And now we're at the location request information, which is step five. You, you basically would search the location and then you get to select it. Search again. Then you just fill out the text field and save. Basically, yeah, this one's not working yet. Same with the time. It's not working yet. Then you have a multi-page, I mean a multi uh, multi-line text box here. And then you can click either more dates, which will redirect you back to the beginning of step five. And the same with the more location. So continue, and then this is basically like a, a summary. Well, not summary. Of um, this is where you pay, basically. You have this pay now button. Oh, and then I clicked it. So now we're at the uh, summary page. You see this expansion panel. I click on it, and then it gives you all the information. It's pretty cool, it just makes it more compact in the minimalistic look. And yeah. So ideally here in the future you might be able to add um, a table that shows the location. Like all the all of the locations that you selected and then you'll be able to edit it or delete it, you know? Yep, yeah, that's basically it.